hi guys welcome back to my channel this is emily again and today i finally have up for you the setup of my mini happy planner the flip through of my setup which have been my setup since the beginning of the year but i thought i was still in time to film it for you guys and share it with you because it is more of a springy uh, setup and spring just started so here we are finally the reason why I have not filmed it before is because I had just a couple of little details that I had not finished yet and I finally got around to finish those and actually officially finished setting up this planner. So to start, I actually got this mini happy planner and this was like kind of the base of the planner for this year. This is an horizontal undated mini happy planner anyhow as you can see um like right away i changed a lot from it starting with the discs i am using some metal gold discs from the happy planner as well as well as the cover which is also from the happy planner brand but this is the snap in hard cover in black with the polka dots in gold and they are like kind of in a metallic paint and i really really like it i feel these metal discs with this cover make the planner look so much more high end and even though the happy planner things are always great quality still this gives it that kind of luxe and high end look for an actual pretty good price if you use coupons so this is how my planner looks from the outside this is the back of the cover or the back cover and now getting into the inside of it this is what I see when I just open it I got a little pocket that I DIY'd it myself and I created it myself for which I just used a piece of clear acetate and I sticked it down with some wonder tape or red tape from Ranger and uh, on top, I sticked some washi tape to cover where the adhesive was. And I really like how it turned out because this washi tape on top of this black cover is kind of seamless. So in my opinion, it looks pretty nice. And this pocket is pretty much um, just decorative. When I created it, I also hole punched two tiny holes in here and then I open and slit on it to be able to put this through that little additional, I don't know, pocket or a slit, which wasn't really necessary, but I wanted to play with it and I did it and I actually like how it turned out. Then on the back, as you can see, I put a doily because I love doilies. They are very dainty, very pretty, and they go pretty much with any see anything, and definitely with this kind of a springy setup. Then I put in here as decoration, but also kind of functionally, a couple of pages from a notepad from Simply Gilded. They have rose gold foil, as well as a ton of things that I got in here. They have rose gold, even though the setup is mostly gold foil, but because I didn't have that many gold things, I decided to just go with rose gold as well, since after all, it doesn't really bother me. And then I have this washi card in here, which has some simply gilded washi tape as well as a Michaels or Recollections washi tape. And they have a combination of rose gold and gold foil. Then on the uh, front part of the pocket, I created this washi sampler card, which isn't really a sampler exactly. This is fully decorative because I only went around it once which, with each one of the washi tapes. But again, just as a decorative detail, I really like how it turns out. Then I got this clip art piece from coffee doodle shop i believe it is called and i printed it in photo paper and put it in there 
Honestly, I probably should have printed it a lot bigger, almost as tall as the planner, because it looks a little bit out of proportion, but it still looks cute, so I decided to leave it like that. And this is Tofu the Panda because I love Stick With Me shop and I buy stickers and icons from them. And when you buy, you get like a little piece of cardstock that is protecting your stickers. And in that little corner, there was a Tofu the Panda, which was a pretty nice size. So I decided to cut it out and use it in there. And of course, as you can see, I also have inside the pocket a piece of marble patterned paper from recollections from michaels then going to the first page or first divider that i created i have these bows um pattern paper also from michaels from recollections and in the side i place a doily cut in half and a die cut from dear lizzie from american crafts and as you can see i have some paper clips that i actually created myself and I sandwiched both like my divider in acetate because I wanted to protect it a little more without having to laminate it because I do not have a laminator. So I decided to just put an acetate piece to each side and that kind of protects um, my dividers a lot more and I can reuse the acetates for other syrups like if I decide to change the setup for the summertime or anything like that, I can reuse those as many times as I want to because it is not laminating things. It is just a piece of acetate that stays in place with the help of the paper clip. Now the bow um, paper is one sided. So on the back, I also use that beautiful marble from Recollections from Michaels. And then over here, I wanted some more texture and I love the texture and the look of um, vellum paper so I decided to use it as the first page of each section of course I wanted to decorate it so in here for example I used a printable sticker that I just printed out in a sticker paper and cut with my silhouette machine and it is from Fox and Pip that one doesn't have commercial rights or license so it is for personal use only but it works perfect for this setup and as you can see i even wrote in there in the computer or in the silhouette software as well yearly trackers because that's kind of what this section is about these two clip art pieces are from twg designs or the weekend gypsy designs on etsy and she actually includes the small commercial licenses in her clip art it is from the sticker kit that i did for the birthday sticker kit that i did last year and i thought they went well with um this theme and this setup so i decided to use them in there and then like i said these are like yearly trackers so i have a few different things like the holidays the instagram tracker the sales that i have on etsy or the items sold to be more specifically and finally i have kind of the tracker for my weekly stickers and by that i actually mean that in there i write down the stickers that i am planning to use every week if i already have an idea or anything like that like the kind of stickers that i want to use or something i want to keep in mind for a certain week um because that is gonna affect on my decision on which stickers i want to use that week so i write all of that down in here and first i had these two pages in the next section but i thought this was more of a yearly tracker so i decided to move it to this section and i placed some simply gilded um, washi tape in here as well as i also used some printables from my printables shop and some stickers for the months and those stickers are from recollections from michaels now for the next divider 
I also used some DR Lisi or American Crafts die cuts that I layered together on top of some pattern paper and it is from this sticker book. I suppose this is the brand color bag or something like that and I believe I got this one at Walmart a long time ago. And I believe the rest of the patterns papers that I used in this setup are from that um, paper pad as well. So that's that. I really like the pattern and the colors. So I decided to put it into good use. And it is double sided actually. So that worked great for this setup of course. Another die cut or a couple of die cuts from the DR Lisi pack. As well as another piece of doily in there. And like I was saying, I put a piece of vellum in front of each section as the first page. And in here I have some more clip art or also from Coffee Doodles shop and from another shop that I actually cannot remember right now. Um, but I put them together in my silhouette software and I printed them as one whole big sticker. And in this one, I wrote brainstorming. It is just like a brain dump or ideas kind of section. And I love how this sticker turned out in here. I love those images all together, but it was looking a little plain. So at the end, I decided to add a few stickers from the Happy Planner. And those are just some gold foil hearts. And I really like how that turned out. And this is like I said, ideas or drawings or drawings of ideas <laughs> or anything like that. Anyhow, I am using here the refill paper from the Happy Planner. And this is the grid one, like the regular grid, not the dot grid. But that's what I have in there. And to the next divider, I used again another pattern paper from that paper pad. And on the edge, I cut down a doily. It was like a squared doily, which actually was this squared doily, which as you can see, it's pretty big. So I was able to cut it down like an edge from it. And it is from the Target Dollar Spot. I got it a long time ago and I thought it was perfect for this springy and dainty setup. And as you may guess, another die cut from the Orlisi, from the Orlisi pad, which actually is from scrapbook.com. And as well as the, these couple of die cuts, and then I layered them on top of a piece of foiled washi tape, which I put in form of a flag. And like I said, I mixed rose gold, so the die cuts actually have rose gold foil because i didn't have many stuff with gold so i decided to just mix both together the gold and the rose gold and as you can see another one of those dangle paper clips and in this page i decided to put together some images from coffee doodle shop and as you can see each image is individual so they look really pretty and really cute. I really like it. This one is kind of a top view from a planner girl desk. And in the sticky notes, I wrote notes. Because as you can see through the vellum paper, it has lined paper. Because this one is more for notes and lists and stuff like that. And as you can see, I started decorating the pages a little bit, just a little teeny tiny detail, you know, to make them nicer and prettier to work on. Anyhow, I only got around to do one because even though I started using this section, as you noticed, it's still at the beginning I had the idea of keeping this planner in my pores. Anyhow, it turned out to be kind of fake at the end after having everything together and bigger than I was expecting and than I wanted it to be. So I decided to keep it like my desk um, planner as it always was with my classic happy planner. And the idea I have right now is to have actually like a micro happy planner or happy notes 
and now what I think I want to do is to like I said keep this one in my desk and then have like a micro happy planner or happy notes in my purse instead I am thinking to remove all of these sections from here with the exception of the first one that one is probably gonna stay in here but the brain dump and ideas and lists and notes and sections are gonna be in that micro happy notes and it's just gonna be like for taking notes on the go and stuff like that while my actual plans are gonna stay in this planner and are gonna stay in my desk so that was that then the next section i used another one of those beautiful pages from the paper pad and then i layered a couple of the dear lisi die cuts on top of this sticking out from simply gilded which is so pretty and i wanted to have one in here as decoration because it looks like a die cut so i decided to use it as a die cut and like i said at the beginning it has an acetate in the front and an acetate in the back and the paper clip is keeping everything together and on the other side i have like an sticky notes and sticky flags dashboard which i haven't find myself using as much because again i thought i was gonna have this in my purse anyhow for now they are gonna stay in there and then in this vellum paper i put another few um printable stickers or stickers that i made out of printables from fox and pip in this one i wrote my life because this is like the weekly and monthly calendars and this is another one of the clip art images from coffee doodles shop and then i kept all of the dividers that came with my mini happy planner because i liked them enough and they are gonna end up to all together once i finish the year or how many months i end up using from here so i thought i was just fine with them and because the tabs are black they go perfectly well with this planner and this setup and just so you have an idea of how i am decorating my plan if you're new to my channel this is a monthly spread and i am using a bunch of different layouts like this is a bujo style layout this is my idea of a bujo spread for a week and i used stamps along with markers from tombow and distress inks for the backgrounds and like i said um just like stamps for the images and then i also created the boxes with my pen and ruler very simple but that is one layout then i am also using the vertical layout in this planner in four pages because this is a smaller planner so i wanted less space than the classic happy planner but still i wanted like more space than a vertical layout in two pages so i am doing it in four pages i am also using the horizontal layout that came with the planner as you can see in here and i am actually really really liking it because it is uh, like much less space so it takes me so much less time than the vertical layouts and then sometimes i'm using my own diy -ish, um, dashboard layout where i use one page from the horizontal layout divided in half and then Sometimes I even cover the lines with washi tape to create my own weekly page. And then on the other side, I'm using the dot grid pages to create my dashboard side from for this like layout. And I am loving this layout because it gives me a lot of space to be creative, creative with my layout and my stickers and everything like that. As you can see, I'm using the Simply Gilded stickers that I receive every month from her box as well as my printable stickers from my shop and because they have the full boxes I like to use them in the vertical layouts. In here is another example of the dashboard layout but in this case for the weekly page 
I also used a dot grid refill page from the Happy Planner and I divided horizontally in seven sections, one for each one of the days of the week. And then on the other page, I have the dashboard part of my week or of my layout. So I am really enjoying it. And also this is another example of my Bougie style spreads. So that is that. This one was actually using Happy Planner stickers and I colored them in with Tombow markers. And that was a lot of fun. I really like how it turned out. On the last page of the month, I am usually doing like a motivational dashboard where I put quotes and pretty stickers to look to throughout the month and keep myself motivated and positive and all of that. And here is another example of one of those quotes dashboard. It doesn't have to be very complicated or elaborated. It just needs like a quote and some pretty stickers to look to or look at throughout the month. At the back, I created like a pocket insert with a protective sheet that I cut to size. First, I cut the paper that I put inside and with it, I cut down the protective sheet as well. And then I sealed it on this side with some washi tape. As you can see here, I have the stickers that came with the planner. Since it was undated, it came with the months in a really pretty hollow foil. And this pocket, I am trying to keep it fully functional. So I do not have anything in the back other than the double-sided pattern paper that I put inside, which is from Recollections from Michaels. And of course, I punched the holes with my Happy Planner hole punch. Now for the back, after I created the front pocket, I got these pockets from Recollections from Michaels. So I got that pocket from Recollections from Michael from their like traveler's notebook section. And I created or I cut down a piece of acetate in here that I used to stick down a piece of washi tape, scalloped washi tape from Recollections. No, excuse me, from Target from the dollar spot and a tiny piece of or a strip of pattern paper from Recollections from Michael, which is the same that I have been using throughout the planner. So I sticked those in there so that they stay in place. And for this upper pocket, I created a washi card or a washi, I don't know, dashboard, however you want to call it, to work as a background for this die cut that I created from a printables from Nikki, from Ribbon and Nib, from Etsy. And finally, I printed out this little card on a photo paper as well, of course. And the photo paper is actually from HP. And the art is from Holly Nichols. She had her printables on discount a while ago for like $5 each. So I couldn't help myself. I had to get at least one and i decided to get that one because i absolutely love it and once i had it i had to include it in my setup so i put it in there to fill in that pocket and i love how everything here in the back looks as much as i love the things i have in the front so everything is just perfect for me and this is all my setup but I am planning on taking out all of the weeks that already passed and that I am not even using anymore so that it isn't as chunky. And one more thing is that I am planning on taking out these paper clips because the bits keep getting in between the pages and whatnot. So I think I want something a little more practical and functional for me. Maybe I will just create some washi flags or something and use them in there as tabs or create some 
actual tabs i don't know yet but for now that is what i have going on in my mini happy planner i have been loving it so far and i really hope you like it as well i'm so sorry for taking forever to film this video but if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't thank you so much for watching guys and until next time take care bye